So this station is body condition scoring. Who's done it before? <laughs> Nobody? Two, okay, two people have done it before. All right. Expect you to be quite good at it. <laughs> no pressure. Um, the scale ranges from what to what? One, one two, nine. nine. With one being the thin and nine being the nice. right okay so what do we like most horses in most disciplines to be five so yeah that's kind of our we're aiming for there are six areas that we look at and let me emphasize we're looking at fat cover we're not assessing his muscling that's sort of a different scale we're just looking at his fat cover so what are those six areas Okay, the neck is one. What's the second area? Ribs is another one. So we have, we have two so far. Withers is the third one. Right above the tail. Say, say it again. Right above the tail. Yes, so let's call it tail head. That's four. Behind the shoulders, five, good. And then there's one more. You may have said it already. Did you say it? Say something. Top line. Okay, so so top line is what you said. I'm gonna tweak it to the loin area and the, the back, the, the top of the horse. So it's top line can mean different things to different people. Maybe we'll see where it is. All right, we have a horse. Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys go first, and then we'll talk about you. Oh, yeah. Aren't you glad you signed us up? Yeah. So what you guys are doing neck. So what kind, just, just the neck, yep. And then you're gonna give us a score and then we're gonna talk about it. Go ahead. Do we touch him? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can touch him. That's the thing with body condition scoring. You have to look and touch. Indeed. It's very hard to body condition a horse just from looking. And you can touch too. Well, I don't wanna crowd him. Do you have a number in your hand? You guys, why don't you guys confer and then I'll touch. Okay, you guys talk. So what's this part up here under the mane, like right here? Anatomical, it is a crest, it's a nuchal crest. So this is all ligament, right? And some horses have a crusty neck here, but if you don't, and there was flies, if you don't, <laughs> like I'm like wiggling and dancing, then, then this is not an area that I tend to spend too much time on. I kind of go right here. And it's like, oh, that's not how I like to be petted. Exactly. <laughs> so I go, hi. I go, I go right, right here. So what's down here? The vertebrae. The vertebrae are much lower than people think. They're they're in this. Area. So this is your triangle for shots because your vertebrae are here, nuchal ligament here, right there. So what number did you guys come up with? We say like a five or six. And what's your thinking behind that? I like five, just so you know. So what's your thinking? Well, he's definitely not skinny, but there's like a little crustiness happening. I'm not appreciating that as much as you <laughs> all are. Um, he, I wouldn't want him any thinner than this. As a, as a horse in heavy work, performing at his level, I wouldn't want him any thinner. Okay, so let's go with five on the neck. Okay. All right, so the next area is the withers, and I think I'm gonna put you two up. Okay. And good for her for introducing herself to the <laughs> horse first, you know, not just walking up and raw. Do you wanna come feel it? Yeah. Hello. 
So you two confer. I liked where they were touching. So you, you feel and look here, and you can kind of see the individual dorsal spinous processes. Can you guys see that from where you are? Okay, and then you can see the top of his shoulder and a little bit of indentation right here. So the horse that I would give a high, really high score, this is your hint, a really high score to, would not have this indentation here. We filled up with fat, okay? So what'd you guys give his withers? I gave it a five. You did. What, is the, what, what do the rest of you think? Does, does, if you think five, raise your hand. If you think six, raise your hand. If you think four, raise your hand. Okay, so we're going to go with four. four. Yeah, or, or maybe even a 4.5. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think it can be a five because there's a dip mm -hmm. and because I can see each little, you can see that, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, so the next one is behind the shoulder. Who hasn't gone yet? You guys. I really like <laughs> Jump up there and go where you, where you, you don't have to touch where she did. Go where you think it is. There you go. Ah, it's like the Marco Polo. <laughs> Hot, cold. Is this your on button? It's right there. All right, so you guys confer. You have to move your hands. Um, so if this is his shoulder, right? And the, the place on the Henneke scale is behind the shoulder. I kind of go right here. So one group went, you know, in the girth area and sort of, and one group went down the leg and, and I noticed you went sort of underneath. I go right here and I, I noticed something. Do you all, okay, okay. okay. So what, what did you guys come up with? Probably like a yeah. You agree? What do you guys think? We can, we can go with the six. Here he's beginning to carry some more fat cover, right? Like you look at this horse and you go, oh, oh, and then, oh, <laughs> and as, as you go on. So I, I'm going to, just because I know the rest of his, what the rest of his, I'm going to give him a five point. Hey, don't do that. Oh, goodness. A now he's a five. <laughs> a five point five, right? Okay. Our next area is ribs. Who hasn't gone yet? You guys haven't gone, right? We have six areas. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. That looks tasty. You don't know that, Mom. You do not know that. Yeah, you smell like hay. He likes you. <laughs> These are the ribs. All right, confer, you stay there. So um, as I, and I, I tend not to do like this. I feel like this, and you can see how much I'm, I'm, I'm putting some effort yeah. here, yeah. And so I'm pressing, yeah, and there are ribs. You, but you can't, can you see the ribs? Okay, so a five, and you have the, the cheat sheet here, just so you guys know. If five, you can occasionally see a rib. Like when he was doing his circus trick and st stretching and itching, you could see ribs. But when he's high, when he's standing, yeah. hey, yeah, you, you can't really. And I'm having to press pretty hard to get him. So what number would you guys like to give the ribs? Six. Six. What do you guys think? 5.5? Going once, going twice. Okay, somewhere it, it, I could live with either of those. So let's let's go with um let's go with the five point five. Okay, our next area is um, the crease down the back. So who who hasn't gone yet? There's lots of finger pointing, and have you guys gone? I'll hop up here. Step on. Or come on down, or whatever. Yeah. All right, who's your partner? Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> 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 All 
All right. So I like where you guys were, were looking. So I think you're all at a good angle to see. This is that crease down the back that we're talking about. And he's pretty l flat or level. You know, some horses, they keep this all the way down, right? And so their, their spinous, their dorsal spinous processes stick up all the way down. And some horses have a, a, an inverted crease here. And so you could pour like a water and it would like go and, and either come down here or down here. But he's pretty, he's pretty flat here. So you get to about here. So what do you want to call him? What'd you guys? Uh oh. I liked her number. Okay. Like five and three quarters. Five and three quarters, <laughs> I know. Let, let's go with five and a half. Mm -hmm. you, is everybody good with that? Okay. And then we have one more. Did everybody go? Okay, I'll just do this one. So the, the, the last one is the tail head. And can you see if he's here and I'm here and I just do this a lot? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's right where the tail sticks into the body, right? And one of the descriptors I really like is um, that the area is feeling spongy. It's definitely feeling spongy. So I would like to give this a six. So from like head to toe, he kind of four and a half, five, five and a half, six. Yeah. So with all those numbers, what then is his final overall score? This horse. See? Uh, yeah, five and a half. All right, is everybody? Yeah. We gave him a five and a half the other day. If, if we have time, there is another horse we can look at that might not be a five and a half. So these, these were very tight numbers. I mean, they range from four and a half to five. So you didn't have a lot of difference to look at. So he's not a great model for that. <laughs>